Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Jerusha Amaregbo. The Court of Appeal has upheld the election of Duoye Diri as governor of Bielsa State. A five-man panel of the court threw out the ruling of the Bielsa State Gubernatorial Petition Tribunal, which sacked Diri over a petition by the Advanced Nigeria Democratic Party, ANDP, that it was unlawfully ex excluded from participating in the poll. But in its ruling, the appellate court held that the tribunal acted outside its jurisdiction in nullifying the election. It added that the ANDP did not prove the valid nomination of its candidate to contend all law unlawful exclusion. Edo State governorship candidates of the All Progressives Congress, APC, in the September 19 polls of Sage Zayamu says he will approach the court to contest the outcome of the election that gave victory to Godwin Obaseki of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. In a congratulatory message, he sent, he sent to the people of the state to mark the nation's 60th independence anniversary. Izayamu says since after the election, many people have sought to know from him his next line of action. According to him, if the, if the Obaseki and the PDP could institute 13 cases against him, then his approaching the court would not be out of place. He says his next line of action will be made known as soon as possible. No fewer than 869 insurgents have been killed while 321 kidnapped victims were rescued by troops in the frontline operations in the last three months. This is according to Coordinator Defense Media Operations Major General John Enenche in a statement released earlier today. Enenche says this obviously shows that the armed forces of Nigeria is winning the war against the enemies of the country. He however urged the general public to continue to support the gallant troops by providing credible intelligence and the troops operating within the localities. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says he has tested negative for the coronavirus after President Donald Trump announced he had been infected and was in quarantine. Pompeo says he was tested few hours after Trump's announcement and added it was the fourth time he had been tested during the past two and a half weeks. He therefore said he has not interacted with the president since the Abraham Accords were signed in Washington on September 15th when Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates recognized Israel. Electricity distribution companies collected a total of 1.27 trillion naira from customers in the last three years. Data obtained from the Association of Nigerian Electricity Distributors shows that customers paid 363 billion naira in 2017, 437.9 billion naira in 2018, and 473 billion naira in 2019. According to the data, energy received by the power distributors rose to 26,630 in 2019 from 26,385 in 2018 and 24,616 in 2019. The family members of an Indian lady who died after she was gang raped has accused the authorities of forcefully cremating her body in the middle of the night without their consent. The 19-year-old from a village in India's capital, New Delhi, was raped in a field near her house on September 14th by four suspects belonging to upper caste in the Hindu religion's hierarchy. The teenager's body was cremated in an open field in Hathras around 3 a.m. earlier this week in the presence of nearly two dozen police and other officials. But the teenager's family members alleged that the cremation was carried out against their wishes with neither of her parents present. Ukrainian third seed Elina Zvitolina has advanced into the fourth round of the French Open with 6 4 7 5 victory against Russian Ekaterina Alexandrova on Friday. Zvitolina, who won a title on clay at Sterberg last week, will meet 16th seed Elise Matens or Francis Carolina Garcia for a place in the quarterfinals. Fifth rank Vitolina has reached the last eight twice before at Roland Garros in 2015 and 2017. And that's the latest at this hour. Many thanks for watching.